The Sun is an extremely complex main sequence type G2V star. Whatever that means. Even the most brilliant minds and NASA don't completely understand that. But learning about the Sun's layers and the basics of what they do is pretty simple. Let's start with the outer layers. Did you know that the Sun has an atmosphere like Earth? Pretty cool, huh? The outermost layer of the Sun is called the corona, which is Latin for crown. Surprisingly, this outer layer is one of the hottest at around 2 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's not cool. At these temperatures, atoms like hydrogen are stripped of their electrons, leaving only a bare nucleus. The Sun's magnetic field lines trap hot plasma and form spike-like shapes, called streamers. These are what give this layer its crown-like appearance and name. The corona also causes the northern lights here on Earth. As plasma flows out of this layer into space, it eventually hits the Earth atmosphere and interacts with atoms and molecules. And these reactions cause the beautiful colors that we see. The next 3,000 miles is the sun's chromosphere, which is Greek for color sphere. Now the temperature suddenly drops to around 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And at these temperatures, hydrogen atoms begin to radiate in a reddish color, hence the layer's name. But against the brighter background layers, you can only see the chromosphere and the corona with special expensive equipment. However, once in a while, we get a rare look from Earth at both of these layers during a solar eclipse, like the one in 2017. The moon temporarily blocks the much brighter layers, allowing us to see the corona and the chromosphere. Finally, we reach the photosphere, which is Greek for light sphere. This is the layer of the sun that we're all most familiar with because it's where visible light first appears on the sun. And now temperatures fall to a nice chilly 6 to 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The photosphere is also where we see sunspots, which are randomly appearing dark spots that are around 3,600 degrees cooler than the rest of the layer. You've probably seen pictures of the photosphere, whether you knew it or not. It's covered in a granular-like pattern, kind of like skin. This pattern is the result of wild convection processes happening in the layers inside the sun. So now you know what the layers of the sun's atmosphere are, and a little bit about how they work. In another video, we'll explore the mysterious internal layers of the sun.